This video is brought to you by DistroKid. Hi, I'm Ash and <laughs> Skrillex? Man, why'd it have to be Skrillex? So I have the MIDI for Goodbye to a World. Let's hear how this sounds. It's in all these really pretty parts. This one? So, Skrillex, oh boy. I guess I'll start with this main melody. Yeah, 160 BPM. No, 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 150. I have plans for you, my friend. Little sine wave pad. There's so many ways I could do this. So do I do modern hip hop? housey adjacent Skrillex classic bro step that everyone loved and started hating Skrillex. Maybe super pretty vibey with you long friends type beat. Kingdom Hearts weeb? Nah, nah, it's too many. I can't do it. No, I can't do it. Screw it. I'm gonna just wing it and uh, fire away. <gasps> Wait. Okay, let's just start with this. Drums. So many MIDI files. Okay, I don't like this or lead? Pluck. Oh, this is the pluck. Okay, drums. I do the kick and snare in this pattern. Oh, I need to add those ghost notes though. So they sound like this. If I do the little clap thingy right before the snare, and get that cool little vibe. Yeah. Okay, let's make this sound like fire away. Roads. Oh yeah. I gotta give it that movement, so the way Skrillex does it, is he just uses a shaker, like this. Okay, I gotta EQ out all those sounds. Reverb. Frequency shifter. Let's bring it down a bit. Can't go without our boy OTT. Okay, it's getting too wild. Auto pan. Auto pan will cut off all the all that stuff. Of all the Skrillex types, why would I pick this one? Uh. I think this needs some vocal chops. Yeah, I'm always using this thing. <gasps> Ooh, pitch it up a bit. A few moments later. Yeah, we well, gotta have these type of things too. Okay, let's just put some effects on it. Reverb, OTT, saturator. Ooh. That ain't Skrillex, I don't know what is. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. I know what to do for the drop. Build up. Can't have Skrillex with the almond breaks. Okay, so for this drop, I grab the MIDI from the lead and put it onto a super saw. And then we're gonna take our vocal chop here. But essentially what I'm doing is I'm gonna put a vocoder on it, set that thing to external, and then to our carrier that I just made here. So that's carrier, that's vocoder, and I'm gonna set it to that, and what that'll sound like. And then I blend it with that vocal chop, sheesh! All right, that's all done. <laughs> Ready to release. Yo, you said release? Let's go! Yeah, yeah, I know. DistroKid, best place to release songs I know. Can I move on? Yeah, but did you know that DistroKid is more than just the best place to release your music? Yeah, I do. I mean, wait, what? Yeah, check out... Check out all these cool goodies! Brand new goodies menu! And these are all ways to not just help you release your music, but promote it too. Got mini videos, promo cards. It's pretty much a free content generator. <laughs> Put this on your Instagram. Got Visly. It's paid, but it makes your song pop with these awesome videos. Whoa! And invest in the meme economy with your music as the star with these meme videos. Everybody loves a meme. Last but not least, Hyperfollow. It's an all-in-one page where all your links are. So next time somebody asks you, oh, where can I find your music? You're gonna have to give them 30 different links for all the stores you've uploaded to you. Just give them this one. Sounds great, but expensive. Ash, you donkey. It's only $20 a year for unlimited uploads. And use, you use my, my VIP, VIP link. You, link. Get you got 7% off, off your first, first year of DistroKid. Link, is, link in is in the description. Whoa. 
What was that? You see that? I'm getting to you. Wait, where's the sponsorship money even going? I didn't spend it on anything stupid. Now release the song! Uh, hang on. Let me just play this back. Okay, so we just build it up. Hold up. Y'all thought I was about to do a Skrillex track without a... Alright, bet. To make this... Oh, of course, we got our little dubstep drums here. Thick kick and snares that look like this. Constant rides. Constant hats. Okay, in order to get the best dubstep possible that I can, I gotta enlist help from the best. Artist that I firmly believe that has gotten closest to these iconic sounds. My boys in Barely Alive. I remember when they first sent me a version of Chasing Ghosts, and I thought it was cool, but I didn't really think much of it because it sounded a lot like Skrillex. But little did I know that I was gonna be part of something really cool, so thanks for believing in me, guys. And after perusing through Barely Alive's Patreon, which is not an ad, just helping out some friends, I have dissected their bases and have come to these conclusions. Scare. Mon. Stir. <laughs> how do we make that? We use Massive, like it's 2011. And all you actually need is two of these square saw wavetables, like the most basic ones, and just like a little bit of noise. So I turn that up a bit. Wild, right? Okay, but check this out. Now I put auto filter and OTT. And let's turn that into a effect rack. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna map this macro to the frequency here. Actually a bit of saturator as well, with the loudness. And more. <gasps> more. Okay, so I just resampled that and just added a bit more erosion, EQ, and saturator to really give it that. Gotta have those fast blah, 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 blah. Some frequency shifter, EQ saturator. I combine this one with this one. You got a nice fast wobble. Play off of the scary monster himself. Can't forget the sub bass. Skrillex came out at a time when I was figuring out what I wanted to do with my life. Especially to me who lived in a small town at the time. You know, the type of place where the only thing to do for a freshly graduated high school kid was still wandering around Walmart or a movie theater. Or, even worse, Bush Party. The locals were relentless. AKA not really my scene, you know? Listening to country music while drinking in a forest in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> No, thank you. But I do remember sitting in a parking lot with a group of my friends and one of them was just like, yo, listen to this. Remember from first to last? And I'm like, note to self, Emily, absolute bangers. And he goes, this is what the singer's doing now. And this was around the time I was just starting to get into electronic music, but it was always the poppy stuff, you know, like Owl City type beat. But the guy puts on Skrillex. It was electronic, but aggressive. Super mind-blowing to me at the time. I'd always played around with making music on a computer, but I never heard it like that. I was always just in bands, but so was Skrillex. It was cool seeing someone from that background doing what I wanted to do. And I'd always been a fan of Sonny Moore anyway, since the emo days. Although he's grown a base of haters slash purists, I can't help but think of those that he's inspired, including myself. I'd argue even my biggest influence. I wouldn't be on my own musical journey if it wasn't for him. I can't give him all the credit, but learning how to produce has led me to some amazing opportunities from remixing some of my favorite artists when I was just getting started, which led to the meeting of the guys in Barely Alive and doing a handful of songs with them. Then it being super wild that Skrillex shouts out Barely Alive in an interview. And I'll never forget the first time I got to hang out at a show with the boys. And Willie tells me, yo, Skrillex heard No Time and he loves that song coolest moment of my life. Is it cliche to say I wouldn't be here without Skrillex? I'm sure tons of us feel the same way. Probably. But either way, thanks Skrillex. Oh my god, wait, it's missing something. <laughs> so now I gotta get into this dubstep section. After a bit of time, I've been able to make this nice little build. Shaker, almond break. Ugh, frick, still missing something. Honestly, this isn't working. Wait, I know how to fix this. <laughs> okay, just a few more bases. 
this thing. Resample that and add all the processing in the world. A few cool little fills. All the almond breaks. And every Skrillex drop ever. Of course, gotta have the super pretty outro. As always, thank you to DistroKid for the sponsor. Their support helps me keep creating videos like this for you. So uh, make sure to grab that 7% off with my VIP link. If you like what I'm doing, if you learn something, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And if you're interested in a more in-depth breakdown of this song, that's available on my Patreon, along with the samples and this project file itself. What do you want me to do next? Comment that below. Be sure to follow my socials, hang out with me on Twitch. The link is here and I'll see you next time. Here's the full song. I know Skrillex's sound is like totally, totally different from what this is now, but I wanted to do something a little bit more nostalgic and kind of include as many little Skrillex Easter eggs <laughs> as I could. And Porter's uh, Goodbye to a World is almost like a journey of all his different styles, so I wanted to do that with Skrillex's sounds. I know I didn't hit all of them, but it was, uh, it was a good time. And uh, if you see me making Skrillex house because of the new song, no, you don't see me doing that. Either way, this was a lot of fun to make. It took me a while to do it, like just to get everything the way I wanted it. I know it's not perfect, but it's the closest I've ever gotten to sounding like Skrillex, which is, I guess, the dream. And I know I'm kind of rambling on here, but thanks for sticking around. I know here doing this is going to ruin my watch time, but who cares? You know, we're hanging out.